Hi y'all. Another day at home as we're on the topic. Let's talk about that really quickly. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Janine. And if you're not new, then you already know who I am. Um, another day at home. And yesterday I found out that I'm gonna have to spend another week at home because in the year that I was born in Jamaica, I don't think they gave the varicella vaccine or I just did not get it for some reason. I don't know what that is. And I was supposed to have that. And when I went the other day to check my levels, there's still no immunity to the vaccine. So I have to go and get a second dose and then I'm gonna be cleared to start the orientation. So that's great. So I have another week at home. I just took my hair. I just made some mac and cheese. It's 1.52. It's 2 p.m. And I just made what's supposed to be breakfast and essentially lunch because look at the time. Because last night um, we were up watching Grey's Anatomy for a little bit and just chilling until about 2 a.m. I think. So I without a doubt slept until about 10 30 when babe was getting up to like get ready for work and stuff and he slept until the same time too but i heard him jumping up like he had to go move the car or something i don't even know probably but i got up and i made some mac and cheese and now i'm going to wash my hair and just put in two little braids because not only am i not going to be going anywhere for the next week and a half but i'm also not really interested in sitting here and combing my hair so we're gonna just part it down the middle and give it two braids but i'm gonna do i think a leave-in conditioner especially with like the color that i have if not i'm gonna just leave some of the conditioner in there but um yeah i took my vitamins i have my ritual vitamins again they have a minty taste and at first i liked the idea of the minty taste but sometimes i feel like if i don't have like a little bit of food it kind of bothers me a little bit so there's that but i'm gonna wash my hair and look way more presentable when i come back because this right now is it's rough morning time rough hi y'all so i just got done washing my hair well my pandora bracelet looks nice because sometimes when i wash my hair it looks crazy because of the shampoo like the chemicals in the shampoo but i just got done washing my hair i have it in one braid in the back I'm just wrapped up in this microfiber cloth that I bought from the Dollar Tree to dry my hair. I'm going to link it in my Amazon store because I think I'm able to find this on Amazon. So I'm going to link it in my Amazon storefront so you guys can purchase it if you want to. But um, yeah, I just washed my hair and from one set of pink to another set of pink, <laughs> slipped into a different pair of pajamas. And I'm looking into ordering some things on Amazon Fresh. Not today, but I'm going through and like putting the things that I want in my cart on Amazon Fresh. And while I was in the bathroom, I realized that I needed some more Sensodyne toothpaste and this bar soap that I use to shower. But I bought on Amazon the last time. It is for sensitive skin and it's like pretty good for eczema and stuff, I think. I've been using it for a minute actually. Have I seen any difference in my skin? I don't know. So maybe I'll try and see if I can buy something else. That's also another natural kind of um, soap with like shea butter or whatever. I don't really know. So I'm going to do that research today. And um, yeah, I should just be relaxing for the rest of the day. Because mac and cheese that I made for breakfast, I'm going to also have that for. That wasn't even breakfast. That was brunch to begin with. But I think I'm going to end up having that for dinner as well. Because babe does not like mac and cheese. But we do have food in the fridge because... Yesterday we cooked and the day before, well not yesterday, the day before yesterday we cooked and the day before the day before we cooked. So there's food in the fridge for lunch and dinner for now. So that's great. So um, yeah. And I think too, once I get back into going to work, what I'm going to do is meal prep the way how I used to meal prep before. So I will use like one of my days to like cook most of the meals and meal prep it that same day so for the most part the rest of the week is pretty chill unless of course we want to make something different i guess um but yeah i'm gonna relax maybe later on i'll have a glass of wine or so because i have some red wine in the fridge that i really really like so maybe later on i'll have a glass of wine but for right now i'm gonna just sit in the living room and relax and watch some tv that's all there is to do hi y'all happy friday i am feeling so heavy I don't know if maybe sluggish is a better word or lethargic, but I'm not great. 
because yesterday evening Jules randomly texted me and she's like let's go out it's my treat so I'm like okay let's and we go out to a little spot and it w I'm gonna insert like whatever videos I did get on the screen so you guys can see so we went out to that little spot and it was pretty good the drink was really good we got Long Island iced tea so so good I feel like Long Island iced tea is a good drink to get to like get you buzzed without um having to drink so many drinks you know so we got Long Island iced teas they were really really good and we did get like a hookah and you know mixing liquor with the hookah is you're definitely gonna be buzzed and in the entire spot like everybody was smoking their hookah and so even if you weren't smoking it you're still getting high off of the fumes from the other people who are smoking it so we got Long Island iced tea and the hookah we got two Long Island iced tea each and um and the cups were like big enough to like last you for a little bit and we got some finger food i think some curly fries with mozzarella sticks and chicken wings i didn't even eat any of the chicken wings i had some mozzarella sticks and some of the curly fries and then um yeah we were just there chilling vibing i, I will say one thing we are the only people well maybe not but a woman can go out and have a good time and also make friends at the same time because the girls who was in the section beside us oh we were having a good time with them but the place i mm, just the overall experience i feel like was kind of distasteful towards the end before everything was great but towards the end the experience was kind of distasteful because the girl came and she was like oh i'm so sorry but you guys are gonna have to go now so should i bring the bill so we're so confused like wait what is going on and she's like oh yeah you can only stay for two hours and 30 minutes and like at this point you're up to two hours and 39 minutes okay back up to the two hours and 30 minutes like what is that yeah it even says it on the website that that's what we allow and i'm just looking like excuse me i said but we're still we still have the hookah we just bought a second round of drinks and like we're still having a good time so what are we supposed to do just pack up and leave and she's like, I'm so sorry that, you know, that I even have to come over here and tell you guys this. But yeah, you know, we can only accommodate you for two hours and 30 minutes. So I've seen her go back and like talk to a man. And I went to the man myself. I said, who's the manager? He said him. I said, so we're supposed to pack up our things and leave even though we just bought a second round of drinks and we're still having a good time. Yeah, unfortunately, you know, that section, somebody else wants to use that section. We have them outside waiting. And so it's just two hours and 30 minutes. I said, we just bought drinks. He was like, oh, okay, um, since you just refilled the drinks, you know, we can, we can accommodate you for another 30 minutes. But our vibe was already broken once they even told us that. He was like, the thing is, this is a restaurant, you know? Okay, so just serve food then. Do not advertise it like it is a restaurant and lounge and make people feel like they can come here and actually have a good night because who decides that they want to go out and they just want to stay for two hours and 30 minutes? Nobody does that. And I was even telling Jody that she should come. It's a good thing that um, she decided against it because at the time that she, the time that she came would have been later than, you know, the time that we ended up leaving. I was, so, we were both so mad because like that does not even make any sense. Oh, this is a restaurant. Okay, well, stick to serving food. Do not do all of this. And you know, in order they had like an happy hour, but in order to get the happy hour prices we had to repost them on instagram and i reposted them on instagram and one thing i'm not going to do is promote a business that is i feel like the service was not satisfactory and just as quick as i posted them so we could get the happy hour prices because that's important i also went back on there and posted my dissatisfaction with the service because how are you going to tell patrons that they need to pack up their things and leave because you can only accommodate them for two hours and 30 minutes you should have somebody at the goddamn door telling us that before we decide to buy so much drinks and like a hookah so i was so mad and and you know jules and i were sitting there talking about a place that we had gone to first because we like exploring the little lounges and like you know we were talking about the another place that we went to first and i'm like they would never you can sit there until, and I think one time we, went, we were there until the place was closing. Or maybe that was a different place. But still, they would never. You buy your drinks, you buy your finger food. Th nobody has given you no problems. And, you know, when we just went, the seats were so low. They were just so low. The seat was low, the table was low. Where I was sitting, it's like for me here, and, and like the coffee table. 
it was low like that and where I'm sitting is low like that. I think maybe even a little bit lower than this example that I just gave. But like it was so low and kind of uncomfortable. So I ended up going on the couch like part of it. Because there was like a couch on the wall. And then on the opposite side of the coffee table there was like a little chair. You know? So I ended up going on the couch side of it and like sat beside Jules. Because it was so uncomfortable to sit at that table across from her. And talk to her because you know it's loud in there. And I just had to be stretching all the way across and it was so low, not a good experience. You know, when you're sitting in like the higher, the 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 bar height tables and stuff like that, it's a better experience because you're closer to each other. And I thought we would have gotten one of that, but we didn't. But I would never go back to that place again. I'd never. I honestly just would never. Because imagine you go out to have a good time and you're just sitting there thinking, oh, um, let me see how much time I have left out of the two hours and 30 minutes what immediately now so we ended up just um paying and we left it was kind of fun though because we hadn't gone anywhere in such a long time jules said she was barfing this morning luckily for me i didn't barf because you guys liquid iv you gotta buy those little liquid iv packets on amazon and have them i think you can take it before or after i drank it this morning when i came home i came home i washed my face off i showered and I just felt like I needed a shower. I don't know. I showered and I drank one of the liquid IV. Now me and things that you mix to like. I don't really like those things that you mix to drink. And I can't. But I drank it and it kind of tasted funny. Maybe because I made it too strong. Because they're telling you that you're supposed to make it in like a certain amount of water. And I literally just put the bare minimum water on there. But I drank that and I took two Tylenol. And I went to, no, I didn't take the Tylenol at that time. I went to sleep. I woke up at 4 a.m. because babe had just come home at 4 a.m. And then I took two Tylenol and I went back to sleep. And I can say for sure that this morning when I woke up, I did not feel like ass cheeks. Which was great. And it was very much an upgrade from what I normally feel like when I naturally go out to do these things. So that was really, really good. And now I'm just sitting here. Um, I just had some brunch because it's literally 1 o'clock. So that's not breakfast. I had some mac and cheese and something that babe made in the fridge and some um, potato salad. Just a few different things and that's going to hold me for the next couple hours. Until it's time to find something to eat for dinner. And I think for dinner I'm going to eat some salmon that babe had made. So, so good. I love when he makes the salmon. If nothing else, I love when he makes salmon, asparagus, and lamb chops. Oh, favorite. Anyways, I'm just here watching some TV. My head kind of hurts a little bit. Just slightly. But, um... This morning, too, I got up and I made some ramen. Ramen, I swear to God, whenever I feel a little bit hungover, just a little bit inebriated, if I drink some ramen, I don't know if the noodles soak it up, but I feel so much better afterwards. I'm probably going to take a little nap because when he came home at 4 a.m., I woke up and I couldn't go back to sleep. So I was up from 4 to about 8, and then I went to sleep at 8. And my sister called me at 11 telling me that it's 11 o'clock why I'm not awake and telling me some story she had to share anyways that's all I'm doing right now and I just wanted to pop in